what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i feel like i've said this plenty of times in a lot of other videos but scream 5 is officially completed i know i've said this i feel like i've said it many times but it's officially completed now tyler gillette and matt been really open they announced it the scream uh, official instagram page announced it here you see this image tyler gillette shared on instagram actually of him um matt with ghostface celebrating the wrapping of scream and completing production overall the scores finished they um someone else posted something i don't have that image to share but if you if you're on twitter you've seen it someone who originally started this uh circle of images that came out today they shared that they got a chance to hear the score from brian tyler so i'm very jealous of that person and i can't wait to hear it myself like i said before brian tyler is an amazing composer in my opinion i can't wait to see what he adds to the events that transpire on our screen with this latest outing in the screen franchise we got our first look at the title card as i talked about in the thumbnail of this video here you see this is the photo that matt shared on his instagram page with a caption he just said the scream 2022 is complete we're so excited for you all to see it soon hashtag for west so that needs to be a hashtag that we need to make going and make that trend i know that with the people that watch me i can lend a hand with making that trend so please tweet out hashtag for west when talking about screen five on twitter or whatever social media platform you are using so as you see here you have the scream title card that's going to be appearing at some point in the film obviously and i i like the slash through the uh, background of course it's not a slash of a five for those of you who might be disappointed in that i understand you want it to be title screen five they're not doing that for marketing reasons and for reasons that we already know are related to the success of halloween 2018 and how that was not titled halloween something subtitle or just halloween 10 12 whatever number they're on at that point with that franchise but i'm really excited can't wait to see what they have brought to the table in this new outing there was another image that i think one of the producers chad valella shared here he had shared some images of a countdown i think it is just of them watching the film he shared this on his instagram page there was another image of like all of them in a room together just very exciting times this is honestly surreal because i have so many people who watch me talk about this franchise and it's my favorite horror franchise scream is my favorite horror movie so i appreciate all of you guys and i know we're gonna have a good time with screen five one way or another whether it's something that's amazingly uh good or something that's just satisfying or just like i guess sub subpar or even if it's something that's completely a letdown which i know some of you feel that scream 4 was a letdown some of you feel that scream 3 was a letdown some of you feel that there was no movies that rivaled the first film outside of the first film and nothing has even come close to touching what the first film brought to the table i get that but i think that either way fans will appreciate this movie we're gonna appreciate it i'm gonna obviously come on here and tell you the nitty-gritty what's good what worked what didn't work what, what 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 went into the movie that i thought was well done what i didn't think was well done i have no issue liking films but still being able to pick them apart that's that's just not something that i have an issue doing the film itself while i might like it just by default <laughs> out of nostalgia purposes i'm not going to come on here and just uh don't want to say this but i'm not going to stroke its ego just because it's a screen film i'm going to tell you what worked if there are pros that outweigh the cons i'll i'll say that if there are cons that outweigh the pros i'll say that too i'm pretty certain i like the movie but again i'm not just gonna come on here because i like the movie and not tell you it's not like made to the it not i'm not gonna like the movie and then say that that's it's because i like it there's nothing wrong with it i'm not gonna do that don't expect that from me i'll give you my honest opinion about the movie i'll go into as many details as i can on the spoiler free review without touching on spoilers uh and then on the spoilerific review that i will plan to do i'll go into more details in that one i can't wait to see this film i know that everyone that worked on it is very excited for us to see it they said this in their captions we are so close yet it feels so far somehow i don't know how but we have 2021 is literally flying by this movie is going to be on our doorstep within the few coming weeks it feels like so i can't wait to see what happens with this marketing that's about to start because we know we have something to look forward to in august potentially at that at that convention that paramount is going to be showing its upcoming slate of films and in this month we know there was something in the fangoria issue i haven't seen so many people talking about it but if you have purchased fangoria if you're subscribed to fangoria and you got the recent magazine what is in that magazine 
that's talking about Screen 5. If you're someone who is, again, subscribed to Fangoria and you got the magazine, something should be in there about Screen 5. We know there's some interviews coming up as well related to uh, the directors and one of the producers. That most likely is going to be a featurette that we'll see later on throughout the year. I'm hoping we'll see something this month about the film. At best, a poster and then at the convention, a full fledged teaser or trailer, if you will. And then, you know, let, while we're on the topic of the trailer, how many trailers do you guys think they should put out? I honestly think that they should put out one teaser, one trailer. That's it. You know, maybe a typical format that you would get with a lot of movies. Uh, I don't necessarily think that we should have a teaser, a trailer, and then another trailer, and then another trailer. Because we're going to get consecutive TV spots as the release date nears. But that's just my opinion on that. Uh, really hoping we see Sydney in the first teaser. Really hoping we see Sydney in the first teaser. However, I would not be surprised if we didn't. No reason I say that is because we already know that Nev Campbell is back as Sydney Prescott, but I feel like to set the stage that this is not her story anymore, we need to make it very clear that this is not about Sydney early on. And maybe from a marketing perspective, what better way to do that than to not have her in the very first teaser. But at the same time, from a marketing perspective, Sydney Prescott's considered the heart and soul of this franchise. This has been her story for the past four films. So, use her in some capacity in the teaser if we don't see her maybe we hear her voice and then you save her first appearance for the full-fledged trailer that comes out i'm not opposed to not seeing her in the first teaser i'm just i'm just spitballing ideas here on how i think they could do the marketing when it relates to putting out trailers we could see our first couple of images and first stills of the film in in less than a couple of months obviously uh, this is just very exciting times very exciting times. I love this franchise can't wait to see the fifth film those of you who have Been watching me from the beginning of when I started doing the screen videos I know a lot of you watch my Jeepers Creepers videos a lot of you just watch me in general I appreciate all of you Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss video in the description I have links to my social media accounts my Facebook Twitter and Instagram You can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video